Hi friends, hello. Hi everyone, my name is Coach Jackie and I'm super excited to be teaching the Tigers class today, the Tigers 8 plus class today. It's gonna be really fun, we're gonna work a lot, it's gonna be a lot of energy all over the place, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> if you are excited, give me a thumbs up. Yes, awesome, amazing. Well, already my friends, for this class though, we need some things, okay? So the first thing you need is a line on the floor. Now, I'm on carpet. I have put some tape down as my line. If you have tape, ask your grown up if you can put some tape down on the ground and not clear tape. You wanna make sure that it's a color that you can see, whether that's black, gray, white, or red like I have here, whatever color that you can see on the ground that is not clear. Now, if you can't put tape on your floor, that's totally okay. Try and grab a scarf or, or I have like this belt from a jacket. Try and lay this down on the ground or grab a blanket that you can fold up into a really thin line and use that, a blanket or a towel or something that you can use that could be narrow so that you can have something that looks like a beam on the floor. And if you have one of those beams that you can have at home, awesome, you are already a step ahead. If not, make sure you use one of those methods to get a line on a floor. Cool beans? All right, my friends. Now, now that we have our line, the next thing that we're gonna need is a stuffed animal. Where's my stuffed animal that I wanted to use? I have this one. I'm gonna be using this one. Make sure it's a small stuffed animal, not too big. This is about as big as my hand. Cool. Make sure you have a stuffed animal that you can use because we are definitely gonna be using this today, okay? And the last thing that you're gonna need for this class is something that you can put your feet up onto, whether that be the wall, whether that be a chair, whether that be a bed, couch, bookcase, whatever. I'm gonna be using this bookcase right here that I put up a nice squishy blanket on top of to make sure that it doesn't hurt my feet. Oops, excuse me, I burped. This is what I'm gonna be using. Make sure that you have something that you can use like that. I'm gonna guess most of you have like a couch or a chair or a wall or a bed or something like that. Try not to use a bookcase unless you absolutely have nothing else and make sure your grown up says it's okay. Cool beans? Alrighty, my friends. We are gonna get started with this class the way I always start my classes, with a dance party just to warm up our bodies, okay? When I press play, once you hear the music, just start dancing around, moving and grooving to get that body warm. I'll be throwing out some instructions. Just be listening for those, okay? Alrighty, here we go. friends <laughs> now it's time to stretch out our bodies so let's sit in a straddle Whew. sit in your straddles point those toes my friends arms up in the air 
and reach forward. Try and get your nose to the floor. I'm so winded. Woo! <laughs> and come back up. And now hug one side of your body. And reach over to your foot. Reach over your head. Try and touch that foot. I'm so close. I'm so close. And come back up. Hug the other side. And reach over your head. If you are still winded like I am, keep breathing. Whew. And come back up. And now we're gonna close our legs into a pike. And reach forward, try and get our nose to our knees. And take deep breaths. Go down when you exhale. And come back up. And flex those feet, flex them really hard. Try and get your heels off the ground. Ooh, I already feel my muscles being tight. Grab your toes and pull them up. Ooh. I feel those muscles, my friends. <laughs> and come back up, arms up. And butterfly. Grab your toes. Flap your wings. I don't know if you guys can hear my floor squeaking, but it's squeaking so much. Oh my goodness. And now bring your noses. Down to your toeses, go. Noses to toeses. If you need to move your feet further forward to get your head down to your feet, that is totally okay. And come back up. And now we're gonna lay on our bellies, go. And we're gonna do a seal stretch. Whoop. Look up at the ceiling and say, hello, ceiling. And then we're gonna push back into our cat stretch. Get your chin and your armpits down to the floor. Say, hello, floor. And then you're gonna come up and sit on your knees. You're gonna read a book, just like this with your hands. You're gonna show it to me. You're gonna put it down on the ground and you're gonna sit back as far as you can, keeping your hands flat on the ground. Maybe one hand can be more flat than the other. For you, that's okay, just keep pushing on that one hand. And now flip them over, show me your nails, put them down on the ground, and sit back, keep those elbows nice and locked, my friends, don't let them bend. Good job, my friends, and then you're gonna turn them out to the side. You're gonna put them down on the ground and you're gonna waddle like a penguin. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Good job, my friends, awesome. And now shake them out. Shake them, shake them, shake them. And put your arms out in airplane arms, second position. And make little circles with your hands. And now make them a little bigger. And a little bigger. And now make them super big, the biggest circles that you could make with your arms. And then go the other way, the other way. Awesome, my friends, shake it up. Ugh. Alrighty, my friends, that is all we're stretching for today. Let's move on to inversion. Inversion is a fancy way of meaning upside down. So we're gonna put our bodies upside down for this one, okay? But before we do, grab a quick sip of water. I'm going to grab my water bottle. This is my water bottle. Grab your water bottle, my friends. Ah, I love water. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, I had a hair stuck in my face. Blah. Okay. Alrighty, my friends, if we are all done with our water break, it is time to move on to inversion. Whoop, whoop. So, the first thing that we're gonna do in inversion is we're gonna do our bridges, okay? We're gonna do two different types of bridges and I want everyone to do both types, okay? Cool beans. Oh, excuse me, I burped. <laughs> now, the first bridge that we're going to do is our modified bridge. Even if you know what a regular bridge is, I want you to do these modified ones because we're gonna be using these later on in class, okay? So for our modified bridge, 
I am going to lay down on the floor on my back. I'm going to have my hands right by my sides or I can put that, my hands right by my ears on the floor with my elbows pointing up to the ceiling. Your choice for the modified bridge. I'm going to have my feet flat on the floor with my knees pointing up to the ceiling. I'm going to put my hands here for now next to my booty. For my modified bridge, I'm going to lift my belly up to the sky. My shoulders and my chest stay down on the ground, but my hips are going up, 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 trying to get my belly button up to the sky. And I'm going to hold that for five seconds. And then I'm going to come back down and breathe. Okay, my friends, let's try those modified bridges all together. Ready, steady, go. Lift up, hold it. One, two, three, belly's up, four, five, and come on down. And breathe. Good job, my friends. Alrighty, so that was our modified bridge. Keep that one in your back pocket because we're gonna be using it later. The next bridge that we're going to do is our regular bridge. We're going to push up, get our hips and our shoulders and our chest off of the floor, okay? Watch me first. So, I lay down just like I was going to for my modified bridge, except my hands now have to be right next to my ears on the floor. My fingertips are pointing towards my shoulders. I'm moving this way. Now I'm on the floor. Then I'm gonna push both my hips and my chest up off the floor at the same time. Ready? Here I go. I push. And I push, 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 get it up and I hold it for five seconds. And when I come back down, laying on my back, and I can rock and roll, my friends. That's the way to finish our bridges. Alrighty, let's do our regular bridge. Let's hold it for five seconds. Ready? Here we go. Set. Go, push up, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, and come on down. And rock and roll, my friends, rock and roll. Make sure that you're rocking and rolling. It's important for all those muscles in your back. It's not just a silly thing to do, I promise. Alrighty, my friends, take a deep breath. We've done our bridges. <sighs> Did I say we've done our bridges? Ha, psych. We're gonna be doing our bridges one more time, but I'm gonna watch you do yours, okay? Now, for this bridge, you can do whichever bridge you want. You can do the modified bridge or the regular bridge, but we're gonna hold it for 10 seconds this time. Are we ready? I'm gonna come watch. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Bridges, hold it. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come on down and rock and roll, my friends. Good job. Those are beautiful. Those are really beautiful, my friends. Thanks for getting those bellies up really, really high in the sky. Thanks for pushing. Awesome. Alrighty, my friends. The next thing that we're going to do in our inversion section is our spider walk handstands. Now, if you know what a spider walk handstand is, you can go ahead and start on your chair, bookcase, bed, wall, whichever you have. If you don't know what it is, make sure you're watching me first, okay? Then you can try it. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hands, I'm gonna put them on the ground. I'm gonna walk my feet up to the top of whichever I have, and I'm gonna walk my hands close so that my body looks like an L. So that my hips are over my head, my head is over my hands, just like this. And then I'm gonna walk my hands out and bring my feet down. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hold it to the best of your ability, my friends. Alrighty, now I've just done one. Can I see you guys do it? Let's walk our feet up and we're gonna hold it for five gymnastic seconds. Ready, set, go. Walk those feet up, walk, 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 and, oops, excuse me, we're going to hold it. Hold it for one gymnastics, two gymnastics, three gymnastics, four gymnastics, five gymnastics, and walk those feet back down, be super safe. Awesome, that was good, my friends. Now, 
a thing that you might want to be aware of when you're doing your spider walk handstands is that your belly and your hips are dropping to the floor, okay? Make sure you get that booty up over your head, okay? Watch me just to make sure that you're not doing this. So we put our hands flat on the floor, we walk our feet up, and then I drop my hips like this. This is not a spider walk handstand, my friends. It's gonna hurt your back and your hips and your chest and your shoulders and your wrists by doing a spider walk handstand like that. You wanna make sure that your booties are up in the air, trying to get your booty really, really high to the ceiling. Let's try it one more time, my friends. Ready? Here we go. Oh, my shirt. Okay. Ready? Let's try it. And go. One. Walk those feet up. Two. Three. Four. Five. And walk them back down. Good job, my friends. That was so much better. Thank you guys for listening and for focusing on those skills. Amazing. Alrighty, my friends. Now the last thing that we're gonna be doing for our inversion section is working on our cartwheels. If you know what a cartwheel is, awesome. If you don't know what a cartwheel is, that's okay. I'm about to break it down. My friends that do know what a cartwheel is though, I still want you to follow along with me, okay? Just so that we all know that we're all doing it the right way, okay? So. You can do this on your line if you want, but I don't have enough room to do a cartwheel on this line. So I'm gonna do it facing you guys. Cool? Alrighty. So for a cartwheel, we always, always, always start in a lunge. So a lunge, I'm gonna face this way just to show you guys what a lunge is. We're gonna take our favorite foot, put it in front. We're going to bend that front knee just a little bit. Our back leg is gonna be super duper straight. Our arms are gonna come up by our ears. This is my lunge, my friends. Everyone's lunge should be like this. I'm gonna face you guys to show you what my lunge looks like this way. This is my lunge. My arms are not out here. I'm not winding it up. Both of my arms are up by my ears, okay? This is our lunge. Now, when we do our cartwheel, we start in our lunge. Watch my cartwheel first before you do yours, okay? I'm gonna do a sort of baby cartwheel because I'm worried about the space that I have and I don't wanna get hurt or hurt any of my furniture, okay? Make sure you do the same. We start in our lunge. My hands are gonna go down. I'm gonna face them that way. I'm gonna face them the way. So if I have my left foot in front, I'm gonna put my hands pointing towards my left side. <coughs> side. Ooh. If I have my right foot in front, I'm gonna put my hands down facing the right side, okay? Put your hands down the way that you think that you should, but make sure it's the same foot, same direction for your hands, okay? Alrighty, so if I start my lunge, I put my hands down, I jump over, and then I end in a lunge, just like this. It's okay if for now my legs aren't straight. For that cartwheel, I had cuckoo banana legs, but that's okay as long as I jumped over okay let's try our cartwheels my friends let's do three cartwheels try and start and end in that lunge my friends ready i'm gonna do one and then i'll watch you do the last two go good job my friends keep it up keep it up good job my friends remember same foot same direction for your hands. Good job. This is awesome, my friends. Beautiful, beautiful work. Alrighty, my friends. That was a fantastic job on those cartwheels. Keep working on those cartwheels at home if you have a good space for it. Alrighty, my friends. Before we, that was the end of our inversion section. Now, before we move on to our next section, let's grab a quick sip of water because we worked really hard on those inversions. Grab your water. Delicious. Alrighty, my friends. Oh no, my clock turned on. Alrighty. Now, my friends, we are going to move on to our next section, which is core strength. 
That is just a fancy way of saying that we're going to work on all the muscles that are in your tummy. So when a coach says, squeeze your core, squeeze your stomach, this is the muscles that we're, they're talking about. We're going to be working on those muscles today, okay? Alrighty, my friends. Now, the first thing that we're going to do in our core strength is we're going to do modified bridge lifts. Now, remember how I said keep that modified bridge in your back pocket? Take that card out because that's what we're going to be using right now. Alrighty, my friends. Now, watch me first so that we know what we're doing. We're going to lay back down. For our bridge, we're going to put our hands either here or here. Again, it is entirely your choice. I'm going to put my hands right here by my booty. For our modified bridge lifts, we are going to lift our hips up and bring them down. <gasps> Oops, I forgot something, silly gooses. Go grab yourself animal. Grab yourself animal. Alrighty, my friends, I have my stuffed animal here. I'm laying back down in my bridge position. I'm going to take my stuffed animal and put it right on my belly button, okay? Now, I'm going to lift my hips up. I'm going to grab my stuffed animal with my hands. I'm going to lift it up to the sky. I'm going to put it back down on my belly button, put my hands down, and bring my hips down. That was one, okay? We're going to do five of those, okay? I know it may seem like a lot, but I think we can do it. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready for the challenge. Alrighty, my friends, here we go. Ready, set, go. Lift your hips up, grab yourself animal, lift it in the air, put it back down, put your hands down, put your hips down. That was one. Hips up, grab yourself animal, up, down, hands down, hips down. That was two. Bring your hips up, grab your stuffed animal, lift your stuffed animal up, bring them down, hands down, hips down. That was three. Hips up, grab your stuffed animal, up, down, hands down, hips down. That was four. Last one, my friends, we can do it. Hips up, grab your stuffed animal, up, down, hands down, hips down. That was five. Good job, my friends. Let's take a deep breath. <sighs> Doesn't laying down feel great? <laughs> Alrighty, my friends, you guys can sit back up. That was fantastic. Thank you so much for working on that with me. You can say, see you later as a stuffed animal. That was all we needed him for today. Alrighty. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do our Superman rocks. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's okay. I'm gonna be showing you. If you do know what it is, just follow along. Alrighty? Oh, excuse me, I'm so gassy, so burpy. We're gonna lay down on our, belly, our bellies now. We're gonna have our arms really straight in front of us. We're gonna do our Superman body hold. Now, when we do our Superman body hold, we are going to rock back and forth. Bring our arms down and our feet up, and then our arms up and our feet down. But we've gotta keep holding that arch body shape. So, watch what I mean, okay, my friends? So, I start in my Superman, and I rock. Rock, rock, like I'm a rocket chair, oof. Okay, my friends, those are our Superman rocks. We're gonna rock back and forth. Let's do it five times, okay, my friends? Ready, steady, and go. Rock, one, two, three, four, five, and breathe. Woo, Superman rocks are tricky, y'all. Oh my goodness. Make sure when you're doing your Superman rocks that you're not worming. You are not a worm, my friends. We are Superman. And we're rocking back and forth. All right, let's do them one more time. Let's do them five times. Ready, steady, go, rock. One, two, three, four, five. Good, and breathe. Or take a nap. Your choice. 
Alrighty, my friends. That was fantastic. Thank you for doing those Superman rocks with me. Alrighty, my friends. That is all we need to do for our core strength today. Thank you so much for that. We're going to move on to our balance section now. If you need water, go ahead and grab water. I'm not gonna grab water, I don't think I need it, but if you do that, it's totally okay. I'm gonna move my yoga mat out of the way, okay? When we're working on our next section, which is beam, make sure you have a nice, clear area, okay? I'm moving my yoga mat. Alrighty, my friends. Now we are going to work on our beam section, okay? So, our balancing section. Remember that line, if you were using a blanket or a towel or a scarf, make sure that's laid out on the floor. I have my line, if you have your line, cool. If not, make sure it's set up. Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to walk in releve, down the line and back. Cool beans, you can have your arms here in second position or you can have your arms up here in fifth. I'm gonna have them in second, or actually I'm gonna have them in fifth, okay? Make sure you keep your feet on the line, whichever line you have, and go. When I get to the end, I turn around and I walk. Good job, my friends. Now, let's do our passe walks. If you're not sure what a passe walk is, it is bringing one foot up to your knee and then stepping. And the other foot up to your knee and then stepping. All right, my friends, let's do our passe walk all the way down. You can do these on relevant if you want. I'm gonna do them on flat feet, okay? Here we go. Up to your knee, step. But up to your knee, step. Stay on that line, knee, step, knee, step. Same thing, go all the way back, my friends. Knee, step, knee, step, knee, step. Good job, my friends, that's amazing. Now we are going to walk backwards. Be super safe when you're walking backwards, my friends. Don't bump into any furniture. If you're not sure if there's furniture there, just try and give your foot like a little sweep. Tap, okay, be safe. Here we go. You can do this on flat feet or on your tippy toes. I'm gonna do it on my tippy toes. Stay on that line, my friends. I found the end, so now I turn around. Stay along my line. And I'm going, whoa. It's okay to wobble, just try and keep your balance, my friends. Awesome. Alrighty, my friends. Now, we are going to try to jump on our beam, okay? If you wanna get yourself animal again, you can. If you don't want to, that's totally fine. I'm gonna put mine right here on the beam. I'm going to try and jump over my stuffed animal, try and jump really far and land on my feet, my friends. Make sure that you stick that landing on the beam, okay? Here we go. Ready? I can have my feet a little bit my puzzle piece feet. Ready? I jump. And I land on the beam. I'm gonna turn around, do the same thing. Jump! And land on my beam. Good job, my friends. Let's jump three more times. Let's do it. Ready? Go. Woo! I fell forward. Good thing I landed in free so I have my hands to protect me. <laughs> Jump. Oops. Good, I'm gonna do one more. Good, my friends. That was amazing. That was our beam. Now, my friends, keep this beam because we're gonna be using it later on this week in our other classes, okay? Keep this beam if it's lines on the floor. Make sure that you have a way to put this back on later. If it's that towel or blanket or scarf, 
Make sure you hold on to that for the skills clinic. Later, we're gonna be using those later, okay? Alrighty, my friends. Thank you guys so much for coming to play with me today. My stuffed animal thanks you too. Grown ups, if you like the content that we're making here at uh, Industry Gymnastics and you wanted to support us in the gym during this time, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all those social medias. It really means a lot to small businesses like ours. Um, if you'd like to support the gym during this time, this, directly during this time, sorry, how to brain fart. If you'd like to support the gym directly during this time, make sure to donate via our website at industrygymnastics.com. Even the smallest amount helps us a huge, huge, huge amount, okay? So it really does help us a lot and it really means a lot to us. If you'd like to support your coaches directly during this time, try and set up a private with them, a one-on-one -on -one with you and your big kid and it works out so well. It's such a good time. Um, I've, I've had nothing but great experiences with it. So if you guys want to help your coaches directly, make sure you do that. Email your coach. My, my email is coachjacketindustrygymnastics.com. If you're not sure of your coach's email, email info at industrygymnastics.com or check out our website. All of the e coaches' emails are on there too. Alrighty, my friends. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys later this week. Bye.